the spirit of God is is doing something right now. And I want to pray and then I'm going to dive into exactly what the Holy Spirit just said. But I thank you, Holy Spirit, what you're getting ready to do, that your spirit will begin to reach across this screen to whoever and wherever this person is in the world right now. And I know you're getting ready to meet us. You're getting ready to meet us. You're getting ready to do something again that we've never seen. You're getting ready to, to meet us, God. Spirit of the living God, I ask that you meet this person wherever they are in the world right now. And it's in Jesus' name. But the voice of the Lord spoke to me saying, I want my people to come meet me in the water. Tell them to come meet me in the water. And this story, this word comes from the story of Joshua because Joshua is at this point, he's had to grieve the fact that this season, that Moses is dead, that his predecessor, that there is no going back. And so many of us are in this moment that we're realizing that we cannot go back. We cannot go back into this previous season and we're standing again before something that feels immovable. And in this story, Joshua is standing before another body of water, which he's already seen God do something before. He's already seen God part the Red Sea for Moses. And so now it's his turn. And I feel this in the spirit. It is your turn. It is your turn. But God commands Joshua to tell the people, to tell them to step into the water, just on the water's edge. It's not their job to part the water. It's not their, it's not their job to separate the water. But it is their job to put their feet into the water and then let me do the rest. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, tell my people, tell my people, Tell my people to put their feet in the water. Whatever this thing is that you've been back and forth with, and over praying and overthinking, it's time to take a step. It's time to put yourself out there. It's time to start the business. It's time to launch whatever it is. It's time to go back to church. It's time to try again. because that previous season may have felt like it ended in disappointment, but I hear the voice of the Lord, you will not be disappointed this time. This time it will not end in disappointment, but it's time for us to meet God out on the water. It's time for you to meet God out on the water. He's desperately calling us, and I see this, this story when, when, when Jesus called Peter out on the water. He's calling somebody. Peter, it's me. It's me. Come, step out of the boat, and you will walk on water. It's time to step out of the boat. It's time to, to put our feet into the water because it says at the end of this story, as they put their feet in, the Lord began, the presence of God began to hold back. It says that the water stopped flowing so that they could walk across. So receive this word in Jesus' name because the Spirit of God, as you step into this next thing, into this next place. The waters will stop flowing and you will cross over this time. In Jesus' name, I love you.